Hello guys, what is up Electronic Nation? I am your host, Electronic Leader, and today we are going to be talking about how to be good at Last Titan Standing. Because there's a few ways that you can be good at Last Titan Standing. There's a lot of things you can do in general without being so effective with certain Titans that will help out your overall gameplay in this mode. So if you're planning on playing this mode in general, keep this in mind, but a lot of, a lot of these strategies will work for Bounty Hunt. So if you're playing Bounty Hunt, they also, you, you can jump by and try those out. But uh, anyways, let's get into the video about LTS. When you're playing Last Titan Standing, you always got to um, grab batteries for yourself, basically. Batteries basically bring your health up a lot more. And so when you're playing Last Titan Standing, one recommendation I always have, not always do you have to do this, but before you even go into the gunfight, if you have a battery close by you, I recommend jumping out, grabbing that battery, and get back into your Titan as fast as possible, because the last thing you want is somebody killing you while you're getting a battery. Also, something else to mention about the batteries is that you can also give them to teammates, so if you are dead, or if your Titan's dead in general, you can go around and actually give your teammates the batteries. If you you don't you know you you can't give yourself the batteries you can give your teammates the batteries so in this way it'll give them extra health and more ability to do things because at the current you know at the current moment you wouldn't be as effective but in another way you would be effective because you would be giving your teammates extra health which in turn would help your team win because you know the last thing you want is your teammate to have a low amount of health no matter how good they are. So if they get that battery, they could win the whole game by themselves, you know what I mean. But also, you also want to mention, I want to mention something about this. If you're on warning and you're on your, like, little, last little bit of warning health or something like that, do get out of your Titan because, you know, staying in that Titan while letting that last little bit of warning health, most likely somebody will take you out and you'll pretty much be dead, you know, laying on the floor there and you're going to have to watch your teammates play for the rest of the round. Now, keep in mind, this is only if you're on low warning health. If you're on high warning health, I recommend staying in your Titan. But it all just depends on the scenario and the situation in general. And so if you're really low on health, you definitely should get out of your, your Titan because your Titan can die very easily from either enemy Titans or even pilots because pilot weapons do melt. Now let's get into talking about what pilots can do and why you should get out of your Titan when you're on low health. When you get out of your Titan on low health, you can be just about as effective as a pilot at this point. Because pilot weapons do a lot of damage if you're using anti-Titan weapons, and that's probably what you should be using for LTS. You can almost eliminate a lot of enemy Titans using a, you know, um, MGL or something like that, just as much as a Titan can, as long as you can maneuver around the map correctly, so... Most likely, it's just about as benefiting to you to be a pilot if you know how to use the pilot, right? So it all just depends on the situation and the scenario you are in, so... That's all about that situation and that scenario at the current point. But, uh, you know, some Titans you need to sit back more and some Titans you need to rush in with. It just depends on the Titan, but the thing is I want to mention also, do not rush in completely into the whole entire team thinking you're going to kill them all. Because they got Titans just as powerful as yours, and you got to remember that. So don't just fully rush in there expecting to beat up the whole entire enemy team by yourself. Because even though it is possible, they can definitely outmaneuver you pretty easily. So I definitely do not recommend doing that. And uh, if you flank and see the whole enemy team, just try to like go around and wait until one of them separates and then kill them. Like with somebody, I would say, like Ronan. But that's for another video. The Titans are for another video. Today we're just talking about the basics of LTS and how everything should go with LTS. Anyways, it's all it's just all about opinion, but in some ways, doing these things that I'm telling you in this video is like grabbing batteries for your teammates, for yourself, getting um, out of your Titan when it's on the little last bit of warning health and staying in it when it has a lot of warning health will help you in many ways because if I mean also there is one more thing I wanted to mention before I go if you grab a health thing for your warning titan if it's on the last little bit don't, don't just self destruct it jump out and grab that and it will give it enough health to actually have like almost a full bar of warning health which is actually still useful to some extent but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to comment like and subscribe an electronic leader is signing out